Hello, Athens. <laughs> We're back. We just got to Athens, put our bags at our hotel. Our room's not ready yet. We are in Athens for game day. We're playing against Tennessee tomorrow. Genuinely nervous, but we're excited. A lot of our friends are coming this weekend, and actually Spotify, we're here with Spotify, which is really fun. I'll get more into that later. But we're gonna go for a walk to downtown Athens because we have much to do. Lots of places to visit, all the old stomping grounds. So today's Friday, and tomorrow's the game. Obviously have plans to go to Polly's tonight, like that has to happen. And I'm getting a blowout at Tribe Hair, which is where I used to get my highlights and my extensions. See all my girls there. But first we're gonna go get some quick lunch at the Chick-fil-A in downtown. I used to live in downtown Athens, so I love it. It's just so fun. Once a year we love to come back to the college town and do all the things. So I'm really, really excited to take you guys along. Really nothing has changed. <laughs> No, I think I should. Walking down College Avenue, that's City Bar where Ryan and I met. Fun fact, they put this here our senior year of college, so Delaney and I would come here and study a lot. I love that it's still here, a blocked off street. Guess who we found? Actually, she found us! I know, I was like, It was so cute, I'm so happy Daly's here. Everyone's here this weekend, we're so excited. I like this sweater, by the way so cute and it's just I love the backpack she's working right now but it's giving like student we just met up after after advertising class I was, Ryan has his backpack too it's perfect add PR baby <laughs> having a haul right now, huh? Oh, bye, Fitty. Just checked into our room. Here's my little haul. Got this cropped Georgia jersey. This I just tried on. I thought it was a dress, but like, I think it's a shirt, which I love. I don't know. And if it's a dress, like, it's the shortest dress ever on me. But it's so cute and it's like so snatchy. So need to look more into that. I'm gonna go on their website. Strap for my clear bag. This is our coach, Kirby Smart. Got Riz. <laughs> Holy shit, I love game day. Collar for Finley, and then two dog hats. That's my haul today. Okay, I just finished getting ready. Tonight, I'm meeting up with some friends. We're going to a Meg Maroney concert. There's all kinds of things. Athens is so buzzy right now. But one essential that's carrying me through this weekend because it's long nights, long days, and I'm seeing lots of people I haven't seen in a while. I'm hugging people like, I wanna smell good. This Lumi whole body deodorant is unreal. This is the toasted coconut scent. Oh my gosh, it smells obviously like toasted coconut, but it also smells like fall and amazingness. And I'm just adding that on as the last part of getting ready before I head out. This stuff is amazing. We have talked about this on the podcast before. Like I absolutely love what Lumi is all about. Like you literally can swipe it wherever you have odor. Like it doesn't have to just be armpits. You could do between your legs. You can do like your boot, like literally everything. I also brought a mini of this. This is also a whole body deodorant, but it's the cream version. So if you wanna like rub it anywhere, seriously, like when you feel self-conscious about smelling bad, like this has your back. Like I can smell myself right now in the best way. Like this stuff smells so good. I've been getting compliments recently. Like what is that perfume? I'm like, it's literally my deodorant. So this is the bottle right here. It smells so freaking good. I can't get over it and it works. This has 72 hour odor control, which is so huge. I think something that I wasn't expecting when I tried Lumi a couple years ago, I was like, wait, I still smell good. Like after a couple hours, you smell your armpits, you smell wherever you put it and you still smell good. Like it's not even like it smells bad. Like you still smell the amazing toasted coconut scent. This has been my favorite scent. Like I always opt for this. Lumi was also invented by an OBGYN. So you just know you're in good hands. Her name's Shannon Klingman and thank you Shannon for your service. Lumi is clinically proven to block odor all day and continues controlling body odor for 72 hours. And let me reiterate, you can put this wherever you want. You can put it down there. You can put it up here. Like there is the options are endless. Lumi stops odor before it starts. So it's very proactive, if you will. I keep talking about toasted coconut, but it does come in eight different scents. Also guys, for a limited time, Lumi has a variety of holiday bundles available on their website. So it's a perfect time to stock up on Lumi products if you are a new or returning customer. 
Looming is still kind and is offering my followers an extra $5 off any orders over $30 or more. Just use the code Danielle C at the checkout. Thank you so much Lumi for sponsoring this video. I will be using it all weekend and beyond. It's so great. Outfit of the night, headed to do like a little, like, I don't even know, an intimate moment with Megan Maroney um, with Spotify, I'm so excited. And then gonna meet up with some friends and Ryan dinner vibes and then the concert and then going to Polly's. I'm so excited. Top is from my edit with us to the label. I haven't worn it yet. It's the perfect time. Jeans are girlfriend denim, Orium collective belt, just some black booties. Earrings are electric picks. And then I'm gonna throw over a black leather jacket. Even though I don't want to, I do think I'm gonna need it. Ryan, are you excited to be here? Can't wait. Ah! We are at Taqueria Tsunami. I love this place so much. We gotta get the queso. And then I usually get the all-American bowl. And we're just having a quick dinner. And then we have the concert. First drink of the weekend, we got a Moscow Mule, of course, no matter where I go. Guys, this is literally the best. You order warm tortillas and dip it in the queso and it's so good. What do you think? All-American bowl on deck. We got tacos. Okay, so here's the 411. We just ate dinner in record time. They didn't have a table, and I said, what if we finish our food in under 30 minutes? Because they had reservations. That's like the hack, honestly, if you're willing to like have a fast dinner. And she was like, honestly, yeah, if you can do that. And I was like, please, I, I flew from New York City and I've been dreaming, which is true. I've been dreaming of that queso for a year since I've had it last. I don't even think I had it last year when I was here. So she was really nice and I really appreciate it. So we did that and now, we are going to an event of sorts that his boss invited us to. Um, so we're gonna stop there. And then we have Meg's concert tonight. And I just found out we're in like a VIP area, which will be fun. I'm still confused on where we're going, but well, I know we're going to Creature Comforts, which is a great brewery. Ooh, jacket's falling. I really didn't need this jacket. Liquor blanket. <laughs> Anyhow, she's back at college, baby. <laughs> Shoulders. Oh, snow over the wooden pipe. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that will kill me. <laughs> I feel like I'm falling. <laughs> you have to lean forward. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Giddy up. <laughs> we are back at our hotel now. We went to Eddie's Calzones. Fun fact about me, maybe not so fun. I'm not a calzone girly, like in college, everyone would be like, let's go get calzones, late night calzones, like, I've never had one. Like, I don't care to have one. I know it's just pizza folded, but like, I could care less. But that's where everyone wanted to go tonight, which I totally respect, like, everyone has their late night spot. I didn't have like a late night spot I really connected to when I lived here. Like, that was always like, where? No, not me though. And everyone always wants calzones. <laughs> Anyways. My first purchase from Eddie's Calzones, I got mozzarella sticks and A. Ew, wow, yeah, these look burnt. Because for some reason, Calzone restaurants, they always take forever to get your order, including today. So, anyways, we had so much fun. I met so many of you guys. Brooke came too, which was fun after the concert. The concert was amazing. And we met so many gals in the Go listeners. I'm obsessed with you guys. Like, thank you for making me feel so welcome back in Athens. Like, it's the sweetest feeling ever, so. Oh, these are, they're definitely frozen to burnt, but. It's not New York. It's not New York. But I love you guys. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's Saturday, aka game day. I'm really upset. See, the one thing about carrying on luggage is you don't get to have all your all your clothes, you know? Like I couldn't bring like three comfy outfits, stuff like that. Like you really gotta pay her down. And my sweatpants, you gotta 
gosh, that smells so good. My sweatpants jeans were what I was planning on wearing. I guess my comfy clothes are at the weekend and I stained them yesterday. But I'm still wearing them because it's all I have. But Ryan gave me a t-shirt that kind of covers the stain if I wear it all the way down. This is from the brand Home Field. They have really cute Georgia stuff. They sent me a package of different gear. And uh, yeah, we're gonna walk to A Thousand Faces Coffee. Ding day of breakfast. Find some breakfast. Come back, get ready. And we got all kinds of game day stuff. how cute this bedazzled hair thing is. We've showered, I'm getting ready, picking out my outfit, which was a whole journey and a half because uh, earlier this week, or maybe last week, UGA posted like, make Saturday a blackout. So like everyone wear black to the stadium, which is always fun. I love to be a part of something. And obviously I love wearing black, but I had all these like red options, but I forgot I had had this sick corset top. Yes, the black material is a little different and I kind of hate that. But Ryan, do you notice like my top's a little shinier than my pants? A little bit. Oh, you notice? Nobody's gonna notice like at night. At night, but we're like, it's very much the daytime. No, it looks like it goes together. Cause I also have this, but it's, and this would like look so cool, but it's a blackout technically. I would stick with the black. You think? Cause I do have the red. Stick with the black. Stick with the black, even though it's like shiny and not shiny. Yeah. And I brought all these pins, but I'm realizing this isn't like the material to put pins on, but I have my Polly's Loves the Dogs. Holy shit, I love Game Tay. I like your tight end. And Riz. <laughs> I like your tight end. Yeah. You get it? <laughs> I'm bringing this as an essential in my bag, the Fenty Beauty powder to touch up, because it's a long day. Bought this black strap because I've always wanted a black one as well to switch it up. Cause even like in, in New York, like I'll put some, I'll put this on like a regular bag too, not just clear bags. Um, but then it's like, wow, that's blackout. Should I add red? Cause I am wearing red sneakers to tie it all in. Cause you guys know I love an outfit sandwich. So that's where my head's at right now. And then also it's, the weather's great right now, but it's gonna, get chilly like the walk back from the game tonight at like 10 or 11 o'clock it's gonna be coldish so I did rent this jacket on pickle but then I have to carry it around literally all day so that's also where I'm at with this like I really just don't think I want to carry around anything am I gonna hate myself I guess if I really like I could buy some merch I could buy some merch at the bookstore the bookstore is always open during the game but then I'm wearing red sneakers this is just Inside the mind. 140. It's 140. Perfect. I wanted to leave at 150. I'm waiting to brush out these curls a little bit. Don't worry. And then jewelry. Okay. Accessories. This is what I got at the outlet mall the other day. This Mew Mew jewelry case. That's so cute. I feel like silver is what makes sense today. So I'll take this off. I wish I brought a silver bangle. Ooh. But I do feel like I could do these. Like silver hoops is the way to go. So the plan is, um, we've got a squad rolling in to Polly's. Brooke and Mariah and Maddie are coming too. And oh my god, I didn't take my supplements. I need to do that. And then we've got various tailgates to pop by. So that's that. I'm drinking an element, of course. So a couple sips left. I could like maybe put one of these. Yeah. Dang, I bought these pins, but I don't think they're gonna work. Since I showered, I'm gonna reapply my Lumi. So I'll be smelling good all day. I'm, I know we're gonna be seeing so many of our friends today. I'm so excited, hugging lots of people. Perfume. Ryan, do you want some glow for your collarbones? I think you're gonna see my collarbones. It's like, sorry I'm running late, I'm just glowing my collarbones. 
my decollete. So pretty. Okay, let's decide on some sunglasses. We have these. And then we have these. No, these are like my favorite right now, but I do wear them all the time. Okay, Ryan, sunglasses, these. Or these. <laughs> these are not very different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if you had to choose. Those are very similar. No, these are bigger. Oh, yeah, I and guess. These are more tiny. Um, the tiny ones. Tiny sunglasses for the win. I was kind of thinking that. Here is the final fit. We're going no jacket because I didn't even really use my jacket until the very end of the night last night, but I was like testing it. I was like, I would be fine either way. We said, okay, block out it is. I feel like it's kind of boring, but it's also like kind of chic cool at the same time. So a part of me is like, should I switch to the red? Just to add some red back in. But I really like how the black looks, so we're gonna do that. We're off to Bali. I was so excited that the day began. Okay, vlog. Look who's here. Yeah. She made a fresh bride to be, or not bride to be, should I? She's a wife. She's a bride. <laughs> That's so exciting. Um, we just took a bomb, but there's yeah, one extra on the know. table, so. shop we just won go dogs and i'm trying to decide between which sweatshirt to buy which one do you like better me um the white one i like this one this is more me this looks like cozy but it's just like but this is so like cute and varsity so i think i'm gonna buy this and wear it on our walk back <laughs> that was my plan i was gonna get a new georgia sweatshirt and i think this is perfect wait i've always seen these how do you wear them? How much are they? <laughs> do you want one? Kinda. Hundred and ten dollars. <laughs> Try it on. <gasps> I always wonder how those fit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now everyone is walking back downtown. It's all uphill from here. I love my new sweatshirt though. Keeping me cozy. Everyone's in line to ring the bell. That's so cute. Cause we won. Oh. Aww. The dogs won, so naturally we are here. I love Athens because all the bars close at 2. And if you're still I don't feel like a grandma. Whereas in New York, time to go to bed. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll go home. Whereas in New York, it's like, they're still going till like 4 or 5 a.m. And I'm like, I gotta end it. But here, I feel cool because I'm still out. We had the best time. They played Rich Baby Daddy at Polly's. I got a sweatshirt. <laughs> now, if we find some food, I'll be really happy. It's the next morning, and I'm playing some 
some, oh, some jazz music. This playlist is called Early Morning Autumn Jazz on Spotify, of course. It's fabulous. And we're getting ready to leave. I'm sad. I like, don't want to leave. Airport OOTD. White tea is from Cuts. My sweatpant jeans that literally have a stain on them, but the sweatshirt I bought last night, I think will cover it perfectly. And then I think I'm gonna wear my dog's hat too. Like I'm obsessed, I got this at Cheeky Peach. It's so cute with the rope on it. Obsessed. Packing up the suitcase now, I really hope it shuts. The plan is to go get coffee and breakfast and then we are headed to um, Atlanta, but we're not going to the airport. We're gonna go to Ryan's parents' house because they live here and we wanna stop by before our flight. Treated myself and got a vanilla latte this morning and it's hitting. We're on the hunt for a fast breakfast on a Sunday morning after a win in Athens. Wish us luck. This new apartment building. Wait, let's go. Oh, do you want to buy something there? This is called the Drake in Athens. I just looked it up. Super nice luxury residences. Like, I'm obsessed. Someone's screaming at me. Okay. And I need an apartment here. Brian, I think we need to get an apartment at the Drake. It's gonna be so cool. Okay, Athens. Let's see how F and Egg is. It's under my old apartment building. I think we got the same thing, Javier's burrito. Would have loved like Mama's Boy, but all the lines were so long, so we're gonna give this a go. Oh, and I got us a set of tater tots because why not? Let's do what it needs to. I wouldn't call it Athens Fine Dining. No, bro. We've made it to Ryan's house and we're gonna spend the day with his family and hang out and then head there for tonight. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you Lumi for sponsoring this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.